Hey, welcome to my living room. What all do you see here? You can see a sofa, pillows, table, book, window, lamps and so many other things, right? All these things have something common in them. Can you guess what is that? Well, all of these occupy some space. See the sofa. If I have to stand at the same place where the sofa is kept, is it possible without shifting the sofa? No. We have to shift the sofa so that I can stand there. That means sofa has occupied some space in that area. Even when you check the book, the book has also occupied some space below the table. So all of these things occupy some space. There is one more thing common in them that all of them have some mass. They weigh. Okay, so all these things are called matter. For chemistry, anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter which you can perceive through your senses. So is stone matter? Yes, it has mass, it occupies space. It is water matter? Yes, in your bottle it occupies some space and it has mass. So even water is matter. So mostly everything around you is matter. But is air matter? It is present around you. But have you ever thought whether it has mass or it occupies space? Let's check that out. We take deflated football. This football weighs somewhere around 50 grams. Now let's blow the football. As we blow the football and check the mass of the football again, we find that it is weighing somewhere around 70 grams. How did the mass increase? Did the football have lunch? No. It just was blown with air. Air is present inside the football due to which the mass of the football increased. This indicates that air has mass. One more thing. Now if I have to keep this deflated football in my bag, is this possible? Yes, it will occupy less space. But if I have to keep this blown football in my bag, is that possible? Well, it will be difficult because it will occupy more space. That is because of the air present inside. The air has occupied space in the football. So I can say air is matter because it occupies space and has mass. So is everything around you matter? Are you sure? Let's check. Chair, matter. Desk, matter. Tables, matter. TV, matter. Everything is matter. But there are things which are not called matter. For example, the energies, the types of energies, heat energy. Is it matter? Well, if you eat something, every time you eat something, it will get converted into heat energy. And this energy is very much required by your body for everyday life. Does the heat energy in your body ask for some space? No. Does it have some mass? No. That means heat energy is not matter. Let's talk about sound energy. You hear so many things every day, every second. All these sounds, do they occupy space in your ear? No. Do they have mass? Do you feel heavy every time you hear something? No. So sound energy again, it's not called matter because it does not occupy space nor does it have some mass. What about light energy? The light falls on you. Does it ask you to move so that it can fall? Does it occupy some space? No. Is the light having some or the other mass in it? No. The light does not have mass in it. So that means I can see even light energy is not called matter. So any form of energy is not called matter.